I call my next project my art project with humor. It's a cat bird feeder. The cat's mouth is wide open. You put bird seed inside the cat's mouth. The birds fly in, eat the bird seed, and then fly out, just like if the cat was eating it, but they're not. If it gets dirty, you can wash in the dishwasher. They actually work. I've got one on my deck. But I will tell you, you do need to bring them in in really freezy cold weather. So we start off with one piece of clay, divide it in half, one becomes a pinch pot. We set it sideways so that the mouth is wide open, and then we're going to turn it into a cat. With the extra clay, we're going to make it flat. We're going to cut two triangle ears, holding the tool straight up and down. And we're going to take the scraps away, and then we're going to put the ears on with clay glue. I tell my students, be sure and not bend them forward, because then he's a pig. So here we go, straight ears. Now it's time for the eyes. This is when my students can get creative. You can make big eyes, little eyes, closed eyes, one eye bigger than the other eye. We're going to put two balls of clay on for the eyes. And then you can take the tool. Instead of just pushing in with the round end like we've done previously, we can go long ways to make real cat eyes. Then it's time for a nose. You can make a big nose, a little nose, a witchy nose, an upside down triangle nose. is kind of a traditional cat nose. We'll set this right here. Then you can make whiskers, long whiskers, ziggy zaggy whiskers, lots of whiskers, just a couple whiskers. But we all know my trick for the quick and easy whiskers. One coil divided in half, a V on this side and a V on this side. Okay, well he's starting to look like a cat, but we need to do a few things to make him more functional. One thing we need is a perch for the birds, and we're going to make that be the tongue. Take a piece of clay, make it round, make it flat, about as big around as a cookie, about as big as thick as a cookie. We're going to put a little clay glue and set this right in the bottom like this. That gives the birds a place to perch and also makes it a little funny. Then we need a hooks to hang it with if you decide to put a nail in a tree or a post on your deck. And we're going to be clever. We're going to make that be the cat's tail. Take a piece of clay roll it into a hot dog, then roll one end more than the other. That will make it more of a carrot shape where you have a thick end and a thin end. Turn it into a candy cane, a little bit of clay glue on both ends, stick this on the back, and then you have a cat bird feeder. If you want to, you can add feet on the bottom, just like we did with the stegosaurus, one big hot dog cut in half, then cut in fours, so that you can put it on the bottom. And remember the animal bowl, the way we made the paws? You can also do that to where if we turned it upside down, you could see the paws on the cat. Be sure and give them a cheap, small paper plate for the painting station. Mm -hmm.